hey 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 welcome to my channel my name is Paula and today I have a conversation starter for you I have received um, quite a few comments and questions just during my um, I don't know more active social media life uh, regarding luxury designer handbags in particular and uh, the comments have been related to uh, is there a different feeling when you carry handbags that are from current collections? So basically that are currently sold in boutiques versus uh, having a handbag model that is either vintage or discontinued. So basically having something that is not currently available new from the store. And as I received <laughs> this type of comment, frequently enough it actually started to make me think as well so like my bottom line has always been that i want to buy the type of bags i like <laughs> quite clear and uh, i haven't really been that bothered if the bag has been discontinued model or not it has more uh that it has been more important to me that I've liked the aesthetics of the bag and um, that overall like the price quality has fit into my needs and um, I haven't really like been thinking that oh I want to buy a bag that is from a current collection um, but I mean after receiving these type of comments um, I have been thinking <laughs> about it and I'm not like, um, and this is where I would definitely want to have a conversation with you guys. Like, how do you see this thing? So some of these comments were trying to explain that there is a different feeling when you have a bag that is currently available in the boutiques. It makes you feel more um, like being on top of today that you're carrying something current versus having something that is i don't know old or but it was it was the person was describing that having a discontinued or old bag model made them feel like less relevant and, and somehow that others might maybe judge them based on that they are are not like wearing current stuff something like that and I would imagine that the same type of logic could be utilized with like these super trendy bags that go like up like this and then they start coming down they might still be sold in boutiques but some people feel that if they are carrying a super trendy bag after the trend has passed that they feel somehow left behind or or not current and I think this is a super interesting way of thinking. Um, and I can understand truly why people would want to buy like current stuff. Um, I dream of current stuff as well. But maybe in my mind, I'm not really thinking of is it current or not. It is still that do I like it or not? Or would it fit me and my lifestyle or not? Or what is the price point? Is it at all attainable for me or not and when it comes to price point for instance i am quite particular in how much i am willing to spend on bags at least for now who knows what the future looks like and if i become a millionaire and then money loses all meaning i'm kind of hoping that i still wouldn't change my mindset in general about money but i mean maybe you understand the point that um I'm, I'm a normal person uh, who buys my own like luxury items so price actually means something to me and if I really think about it like buying discontinued or vintage bags it also makes it possible to have more for, for me and with my uh, financial situation so if I would buy everything like current super trendy Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I I probably wouldn't be able to have as many, I would imagine, because uh, I've also noticed that my tastes uh, has somehow become a bit more expensive than it used to be. I don't know how that has happened, <laughs> but unfortunately it has. 
um, a bit of a sidetrack, so let's get back to how I, I look at bags in general, discontinued or current. So um, for me, it's just like the most important thing is do I like the bag? And of course, like in some cases, it might mean if I see a discontinued bag, I feel like it's not something I like, but it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that it's discontinued. It's more about the appearance. And of course, like some bags look outdated for sure. And then it's just a conversation I need to have with myself. Am I okay with that? <laughs> uh, what does outdated mean for me? And, and like so on. But the fact that if something is discontinued or not, it's not really relevant for me because I am more into like the timeless look anyway. There are exceptions, of course. I mean, I don't know if my Prada re-edition can be can like called timeless bag. I'm, I don't know, but like in general, I'm more drawn to bag models and styles that I can see myself at least wearing in the future as well. And then if there is something that I really, really like, but I can't really see myself loving it in like five to 10 years or the style is something that I, I have doubts in that it might be that I will actually uh, grow over that part or get past that bag quite quickly, then most likely the bag is not for me. Because um, I feel like this is a completely another topic of like, seeing luxury fashion slipping more into the fast fashion style where it's okay to have like a bit more rotation but i i do feel that that is actually a topic for a completely different video um <clears throat> sorry about that sidetrack <laughs> as well how do you see this like do you have discontinued or vintage bags do you look at them differently than something that is currently sold um, and I don't know, like, is there then a difference if I, for instance, own a vintage keep all, is that seen somewhat differently than actually buying a brand new one from the boutique when it's kind of is the same item, but you can see that it's old. I don't know. Um, uh, majority of these comments were related to like having something that is from current collection, um, and then like having something that is not sold currently. So like discontinued stuff. I don't know, have I been able to somehow explain my thought process or or basically what kind of, uh, what those comments were about and how I see things? Because I think this is a really interesting topic to truly think about like, does it make a difference? And, and also like, do, do we admit to ourselves if it does? Because I was also thinking that, do I want to be that person who feels like I'm okay with it? Like, I don't care of what's current and what's like discontinued. And like, do I just want to be that person who don't, who's not bothered about it? Um, I mean, I would want to say, and I feel that I'm not bothered, but is there some kind of thought in my mind if I wear something that is from current collection? I don't know. I don't really think so. Because um, I, I feel like that type of thinking is targeted towards other people and how other people see me. Uh, and am I bothered about it if other people know that I'm carrying a bag that is discontinued, for instance? Mm. maybe that is related to the conversation of uh do people want to show up show their some kind of social uh financial status by wearing designer items so that everyone can see it and is that kind of then reflecting on the fact that if you wear something that's discontinued other people might realize that you are not that wealthy after all. I don't know, it could, that could also be like one element of it that this is a one way to show like how wealthy we are. Even though I think that quite many, if that is asked, say that it's not, but there has been like some surveys and researches that there is quite many people who love this stuff 
because other people can see uh, that they have money or something like that. So could that be related to that angle? Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I'm not really thinking about this in a judgmental way. I'm thinking about it as a kind of uh, interesting point of view. And what if everyone thought that way, uh, that only that type of bags and bag models that are currently in production are actually like valuable or that they are more valuable than the older ones. I don't know, probably we would have a pre-owned market where certain items would be super um, cheap because <laughs> if they would all lose value this as soon as something is discontinued. But I just kind of like, it's still made with the same craftsmanship, it has the same history, quality, I just, I don't really see it that way and especially um, if you are listening to conversations about uh, different designer houses qualities these days it actually sounds like the quality was a lot better previously and that might kind of indicate that actually having a discontinued bag model or a vintage bag the quality actually could be a lot better <laughs> than what we can buy today from a current collection just yeah one one final thought to throw into the mix did you manage to find my red thread in here uh because i feel like i try to really put out my point of view um uh, and also like i don't want to be judgmental on anyone it's not really my place to judge anyone however they feel and whatever the reason is that they buy certain items it's none of my business and it's just like i if someone now out there is really looking at things in a way that I, I only want to own something that is from a current collection, that's great and good for you. And it's nothing like I would be judging on you, but it's just I wanted to try or I try to explain my my point of view and why I am why I'm okay to buying like discontinued bag models um, as well as from current collection. It really just kind of maybe I have a different perspective than some of the people who left me those comments but that's why it would be so interesting to hear about your thoughts and what is your thought process when you're buying handbags in general that's it thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye